is the bouncer at the strip joint where I tend bar. Everyone calls him tiny. He's not big on formality. The ladies here giggle with me, but when trouble comes, they stand just behind God's left shoulder. About half the dancers in this dive are fine. The ones that aren't break God's heart every time. I tell him he's a fool trying to comfort stray cats. He snorts at the cat joke, then cracks his fat knuckles. The manager, the girls, and myself are a party of misogynists and man-haters sitting down for our last supper. Our tattooed bouncer rests calmly in the center. The traveling men here walk past him, their sweatpants ready to become stained cotton altars. The ladies call them perverts in the back room. Sweat mixes with knockoff perfume. A table in Sniffer's Row is sticky with ginger ale and rum. We close up, wipe down. God locks the front door and waits. After hours, me and the dancers sneak shots of rail liquor. The burning sparks laughter in our hollow throats. No one notices how fast the cheap stuff gets low. God never joins us. He just walks out with the broken girl of that evening, her mascara threatening to crack her painted doll face. I wonder if they offer blowjobs. I wonder if God takes them. I think that God is a better man, driving them home when they're too drunk while they quietly cry whiskey in his car, his round belly pressed against the steering wheel, empty soda cans litter the floor, make the air too sweet. The ladies ogle at God's tattooed sleeves. There is a galaxy on his left arm, a tiger fighting a gorilla on his right. A wooden Christian cross on his left shoulder blade, a jungle full of flowers from cap to ankle. He's never explained any of them. None of us want to be here. We stare at the galaxies on God's arm and wish on stars we don't have to raise our heads to see. Woo! <laughs>